so have they been selecting the map more? Nothing's been eliminated yet. Mammoth are about to remove their first, well, the first map. They do the right thing and eliminate deep inside. Yep, leaving us between Hidden Fortress or Dreadful Place. I think it's a hard choice. I think that uh, neutralizers will hit Dreadful Place. Yeah, I would say that Mammoth would prefer that as well, so maybe they could throw in a surprise Hidden Fortress pick. But I don't think that's a weak map for neutralizers, really. But, see how they feel. I think Mammoth have got a better hope on Dreadful Place, though. So yeah, I mean it's just what they like really, isn't it? I think most of these teams are so close on these other maps. You just have to pick the map you're com most comfortable on or you would most enjoy playing. And they're obviously having a deep think about it because they haven't immediately come back with their pick. Excellent. Excellent. Now. Well there you go. I'm not surprised by that, but it's maybe not a map neutralizers would normally go with, but in this situation I think it's the right choice. So yeah, let's stop the music in and go into spectator mode. God, it's right playing up today the whole game. You obviously need to stop. Messing around with your PC, mate. Doing yeah, those it's weird things with it. Isn't it? Maybe you need to reformat. Well reformat, yeah, maybe. Ask the master for tips. The NVC reformat master. I think when you're working with Windows, you do need to reformat and fix things constantly, though, because Windows is a lot of rubbish compared to Mac OS. So. Oh, really? The winner of this game will be meeting Play, who we thought had dropped out, but now the team has actually shown up. So well, that's nice. To take that it, we don't want any dropouts. And I think they got default victory over Zenatorium. Well, think, what did they drop out? No, because Wins was playing in the CTF Cup. Excellent. Ah. Is that the next year out, or are they just in the no, lower bracket? I think they're in the lower bracket. So I don't know. We have, a, have we got time to have a look at the brackets? I don't know. I don't know. Kind of harsh though, isn't it? But did Wins maybe assume that Play were going to play? Obviously, because, you know, they had probably thought uh, Play had dropped. Three, two, one. Oh, they've Fight. dropped out completely, so that's RS. No, might be. Oh, they have dropped out, okay. To be getting nice rocket shots on that first corner, though, he did miss out on the yellow. Dell's flat hand doesn't have anything on a cycle around. Deep has a rail gun and a and red the red oh, hand. Both out of it. That's but you do sometimes get that. that no one spawns in a position to either take the rail or the red, so you do get both. Yeah, it's a dream nice start. Play. Nice play by Deep. A rocket launcher as well for me. <laughs> uh, if he could have hit one of those shots. Well, there we go, it's an early, well, it's 40 second quad, old Spatans picks it for Mammoth. Remember, neutralizers were the ones that selected this map in the end, out of this and Yeah, I still think it'll prove to be a good choice. Red armor picks by uh, old Spatan on this quad run, he's still got 10 seconds left, so time to go Is in, he... maybe? Well, to the yellow. wants the rail, I'd have gone in with Rocket, but... Is yeah, exactly. In fact, look, it's got the shaft out of it. It's pretty unfortunate the guy behind the door absolutely debauched You always have door. to check that. Always yeah, when I say it's unfortunate, it. I mean it's just his own mistake. Because it is standard, you know, you look to get the quad into the room and have him focus on your teammates, and you've got the LG in his back, and he's not even, you know, aware you're there. Get a great shot of LG in, and you know, we saw that in the end that play secured the room for neutralizers. So, caught out in the back there, we're gonna cycle around a little bit, I think. See if anybody's got a weapon to work with. Oh, Bab has a shotgun. Oh, a rail from an, under the uh, basement area by Misso. Dibby has a rail for himself. It's another choice. Misso with that mega pick up, he's damaged himself pretty severely. He's the rocket splash. Does come out on top though in this LG room. In fact, takes out Bab on top of that, and they maybe got control of this yellow room now, Mamma. Second round a little bit 
some more. Gonna rush in, neutralizes. Bab takes a entry rocket right to the chops, and Rav does defend that again. So is this gonna be the key to the two teams? Who controls the yellow the most? Well, we've seen someone like Noctis, how good he's played that room in the past, or at least making use of the items that are in the room, maybe not necessarily staying in there. But yeah, I think it will be a key. It's always important, isn't it? You know, who has that lightning gun, it often decides who's going to get the better quad runs. This time we don't have a stack quad at all. I was cautious and didn't want to drop down there. He's still looking for the 50, maybe that... I think he's still worried away. about dropping because, yeah, look, they were waiting down there for him, so very wise of Diddy not to go down. That's a good frag getting the lightning gun as well. He's still got to be cautious, but the 50 is up, grabs it this time. Might be perfect timing for the red as well, so very intelligent run there by Diddy. Wow, nice a couple shot. of frags as well. No health, does get railed in the back, only nine health. Got to be so cautious, but he's going to get... No, he doesn't get an extra frag, but that was a very good run for It was. It's, uh... That's a good run in the game, hopefully we'll see some more, but it's given neutralizers at least a slender lead that has all but disappeared in 10 seconds or so. Exactly, and that's what can happen on this map. It is Mammoth who retain control over that yellow and lightning room, but I think they look to be struggling to push back out towards the rail, and then there was an ambush set up in that corner. I've always thought that although you do control the yellow and you get massive gain from it, it's your red play that really defines who wins the game. I'm going to have a look at some of the stats now. It's 5-5 five, five on the red, so they're equal. Mammoth have got the vast majority of yellow so far. They're 13-5, to five, and they've got a head on the megas. The only worry for them at the moment is they're kind of getting pinned back. Yeah, I mean, look, dying even as they just push out of the room high. Great work from Detto gets two frags out of that, and it's just before the power-ups. In fact, that'd be the last lightning gun before the power up so neutralizers have moved in at just the right time. Upper yellow will be up, what, six seconds before the power-up, which is enough time to get there, but probably a bit too risky to wait around. Sackle around a little bit. Bab defensive position. We see him just shotgun in this match, I think. Barely anything else. DB does just go down in the back room with the railgun, though. We're now Rab's point of view. He's got a rocket launcher to defend this quad. Look at the rocket jump up by Bab, and it's just sitting on the spot. The quad. Deep comes in. First guy there. What is he doing? Oh my. Wow, did he not see here? Not just come around with the pummel. It's like it. He was looking the wrong way for a moment, it was taken by surprise. I don't know what he was trying to drop a weapon for his teammate or some kind of deliberation about weapons. Almost getting caught out in the end as a result. But it's always very embarrassing, of course, if you do die to the pummel when you are the quad. It happens to everyone. You never want it to happen. Rail can be such a dominant and important weapon on this map. 68%. I mean, at first, look, you might think Rail's not a great weapon for this map because it's so small and fast-paced. But there are positions where there's very few people who can spawn on you and take you by surprise, and you know, there's so many positions you can rail from and get unreturned damage when you're hitting those rail shots. So it's also one of the best ways to attack into that yellow. And if you control the rail, then there's almost no threat of you being there. Well, so you get a very good advantage on the distance, distance game. Did he going to have to dive in on this red? He does manage to grab it. That's pretty effective. Divering on there, mate. Yeah, divering. 35 seconds before the quad. You probably don't want to set up the quad too early. Like dreadful place, you might want to set up a little bit earlier than this map. But you do need to get there. At least 10 seconds before it spawns, we're now 25 seconds before Dibby's in You position. have to judge it just right, because you can be whittled down gradually in the quad defensive positions, but it's also a very strong position to defend. Back 25 will be up for him to grab. Oh, shot off and needed to back off there, and he's left with not too much at all 10 seconds before Dibby. So he went from having 100 armor to nothing. And he really didn't do any damage in that time either. Mammoth Miso. And this is the best looking quad we've seen so far, stack wise. Doesn't even need the LG ammo to drop off. So they've stacked him up really effectively. Detour almost catches him out there, but the fact he has so much stack meant there wasn't. Well, he barely got hit in fairness, but 
You know, if if Deto had hit his shot, at least I could have been crippled. Now just uh, evading and pretty effective. He needs to be a bit faster. He's kind of being too cautious for my liking there. Really. Yeah, I think he's grabbing and get that red. More positive, and he could have picked up another two or three kills then. Now he had the stack to be a bit more positive, though. He took a lot of damage at the end, but part of that was just how slow he was attacking. Old Splatterhand was just in that yellow room defending. He managed to get two frags before he went down. On four neutralizer players at the same time, Paul. Wow. Bab did pick up a drop rail. And his rail shot says they tried to get back in the room, so he's done a really good job defending. Oh, we've obviously seen in the past. Bab is a very dangerous rail player. He's like, whether it be for Sweden or uh, what was that clan with Juvenile and that, you know, playing for them. Metsu, so, Metsu of course, yeah, so he's shown how good he is with Rail in some very high level games. Don't want to be dropping Rails to him. Again, great work. Just seems to do a lot of damage before he goes down. Red Armor is up, gonna miss out on it. Oh, look at that. Noctis manages to grab himself. The red, I think, to kill his teammate to get it. But it's probably the right thing to do if he was in that one bullet kill. And uh, Mem are just ahead at the moment, six frags advantage. We saw a close score in the previous map, of course, for all that time, and then Mem did come out on top of the end. Oh, they're Five not looking good go. for this quad disc. They've got nobody with anything. It's going to be definitely neutralizers. Just attacked a little bit too late. I mean, they might have got in there. Yeah, and they had not himself. Though. He is killed. Wow, Miso, great rockets on Noctis, who we had seen it was looking pretty decent before the squad. Mega picked by Mammoth before us, instantly exterminated. Detour inside this room with two teammates and neutralizers to take control of the yellow. Let's have a look at some of the stats and statistics. 14 reds to 8 in favour of neutralizers now. And 23 19 in yellows in favour of mammoths. It's closing a bit, and neutralizers getting the advantage on the armor items. Yeah, but the megas are going to mammoth, and you know, as long as they're timing them now, they shouldn't be putting them out of position. Yeah, another one taken by Miso. Ditto just defending this uh, yellow room. Shards are up as well. Something that's not factored in to the stats. The uh, extra shard pickups. Of course, he's struggling with health and there isn't much health unless he chooses to push away. Look, killed at the mid. Or the bridge, whatever you want to call it. Of course, if they know that he was the guy defending that, then they could have rushed straight in and taken control of it. Looks like from Detta's point of view, no one was there to defend it. So yeah, Mammoth have got inside that yellow room. Yeah, and it will give them the opportunity to take the last lightning gun in yellow before Quad hopefully had a safe route to it. Bab had the lightning gun and rail though. He's down to three health thanks to that rail shot. He's looking vulnerable. Switch round to uh, Divi. He's got nothing in defence. Noctis has got a rail in this back room. Only in 36% rail at the moment. Yeah, and that might explain his lower than normal damage. He's not going to make it to quad either. Oh, so that's a hand. Grabs this quad, decides to drop off straight away. Ready to be up in a second. Managed to dodge that rail shot, and that's where you would have hoped Noctis would have been hitting it. Three frags, very quick succession there. Mega looking tempting on the spot. It's not used as an ambush point. And now we can probably safely go up these stairs because he killed most of neutralized. Nice, great rail in the back. Has got a shaft now. Move out to the midfield. Bab almost catches him. Although he didn't get his shot away onto the quad carrier. Back for this red. Great, great room. Had a great job there. Old Splatter Hand. Timed it very well for the red. I don't think he was careful enough about those rockets, though. Yeah, it seemed like a strange death, but Bab's only four health. Could be easily countered. Teams are tied. One rocket shot as well. He probably wants to give away his weapon, doesn't he? Yeah, to Noctis. He's trying to Dibby. He's trying to defend this LG room against three players, and he does not succeed. Such a close scoreline, Vort. Yeah, I mean, bad, though. 140 armor discs, but four health. Apparently, he gets something. Oh, one, one health, 120 dead. armor. 
That is so unfortunate. And it really wasn't Babs' fault or anything because, you know, there was no one of his team ready to take the red and he had no choice but to take it, but, you know, it, it goes down as a wasted red armor. And New can't really afford to waste these armors this. I mean, they are behind and Mammoth are certainly playing fairly well. Yeah, this is the type of map where you can't really blame somebody for diving on and grabbing an armor. Because they need to do it. You can't just leave it sitting up there. The red, it will just be stolen away from you if you're not caught, careful. So you just need to grab it when it's up. Not just doing a nice bit of plasma damage, though. Not quite enough to do anything in this but quad. But his team again. had no chance to get into that quad. It does feel like... Mega up. Do you know what, Paul, though, the good thing for neutralizers is the last couple of minutes, it really doesn't feel like it's gone their way at all, neutralizers. Every time we've seen something, it seems to go going Mammoth's way, but the score difference isn't that big. No, it's not, but they could expand it. I mean, this quad, if it clears out this yellow room, it's not going to, though. It's going to have to back off. Yeah, should have backed off, maybe. Should have gone in that route in the first but place. But look, Rav, Rav in high. Um, maybe the quad sacrificed himself to allow Rav in. That was intended, and it worked out. Did just give away the light. Temporarily. Button. I mean, Dibby's in a difficult position because he can't really do much with that kind of health, even though he has got yellow. I mean, he's looking to push out, but against this many people. Oh, they wow. didn't quite hit those shots. In fact, the rails are missed. His grenades actually get the kill in the end from his own teammate. But, you know, importantly, it's Deep comes away with the key item. You know, the red wasn't coming up. They were contesting that rail. They don't come Great away with it. As well. And that 10 frags of difference all of a sudden. Really nice and this is, a, this is a position that's very oh. well very well countered by Dibby hopping over that rocket. Yeah, very Because a railer in that position is very dangerous. You'd be convinced Dibby would have died then. Are they going to mindlessly rush in here against a, a really strong Not defense? Not advisable. So he did lose most of his stack. Old Splatterhand sitting on the red. He obviously doesn't have enough time when it's up because it's 10 seconds to go. He really wouldn't be using rail if I were you, Old Splatterhand. Noctis obviously doesn't have enough time either. Quad is up now. Bam. Takes it with 15 health. Got a counter there, but... Excellent. I don't know if uh, Detour was coming in there with more health, but you know, Bab picks it up and saw him coming around the corner. I can't imagine he had any less than 15 health though. Might have been advisable not to just pick it up. This was a difficult situation again on the powers <laughs> because he can just rush in from nowhere people. Yeah exactly, I mean the front was not secure because obviously you saw that's where he was killed as he was trying to leave. Noxus manages to grab that red, taking a lot of MG damage in the back instantly. He does have a railgun to his name, only hitting 34% still though. Yeah that's... You know, it's not good, is it, for this map? He's had a rail a lot of the map every time we've seen him as well. Well, that might just be a coincidence, but... Second impressive for Noctis, finally, only hit 36%, so he has had a lot of shots. Yeah, and he at least hit that shot there, which enabled his team to pick up the red. If he'd have missed it, I don't think Old Splatterhand would have stolen that away. We've got two quads left on this map now, Vought. Next is in 45 seconds time. This could be decisive into who goes through in the upper well, bracket. Yeah, I mean, if we were to check the power-up stats just quickly, it's 2 minutes and 5 seconds of quad versus 36 seconds, and no surprise in that case that Mammoth are winning. Noxus now in a dangerous position to try and deal out some damage here, though, of course, if they've heard him, there's no real reason to uh, give him easy shots like they did. Detour coming in with the railgun as well. Seems like maybe Mammoth have gone a little bit too defensive. As Noctis just wasn't pressured at all in that period of time we were following him. Oh, aggression over the red suddenly though, and it's five seconds before Quad and Noctis has lost everything. So he had. Well, that's why he's so annoyed. He had a red for ages and then just lost it all at once. Detour getting the grab of the Quad was killed pretty quick, and it's his. 
falling away from it neutralizers. I mean, we have 20 francs for difference just about at the moment. One power up remaining. I mean, you can certainly t turn this around on this map, but I don't really think they look like doing it right now. Nothing, nothing's working for them. It seems like Noctis is just is nowhere near his best. I mean, we saw, you know, just before that power up, he had a rail. He could have hit some easy rails, but he was just going with the shotgun this. It's like he's got no confidence in his rail based on you know, what we've seen him doing with it this game so far. Yeah. Well, I think there's a lot of people who would have been favouring neutralizers for this tournament out there, especially when they have world class stars like Noctis playing for them. So I think there'll be a few fans that will be a bit shocked by the fact that Mama, especially once you've seen that first map, which neutralizes just dominated. Well, if Mama are to see this out and take this game 2-1, you know, if you were to add up the frags over all the maps, it would still be neutralizers who've come out you know, better. That is all about... Oh my god, Dieter's fragging old Splatterhand. You know, did old Splatterhand have red as well? I'm not sure, but... Telefragged. 25 now margin. Now is hitting some rails. Th up to 38% or. Yeah, I mean, you hit three in a row and that takes you to 38%. That's never a good sign. No, that means you've had a lot of shots and you've missed a hell of a lot. If you had a lot of shots, you must have had a lot of rails. You just pick up the armor, drops down and dies instantly to Deep. He was yeah, in I mean, a perfect ambush position. It's only a far cry from the Noctis who we've seen get 100 frags on this map. Yeah, he can't be feeling comfortable at all, and maybe they're regretting picking this map over Dreadful Place. Yeah, I mean, I, I said that I thought this would be a good pick for them, but look, the final quad is going to be going to Mammoth. Wow, it's going to take something special then for Neutralizers to bring this one back. And, uh, well, the top seeds against the bottom seeds, pretty uh, standard victory, you'd have to say, Vore, right? Yeah, I mean, expected, I guess, yeah. top seed versus bottom seed, but of course the reality is it's only based on you know, points accumulated rather than team strength. That's why it's seeded, yeah, but whether or not... I mean, if you were seeding the tournament before it happened, you'd... I think a lot of people would have seeded neutralizers above Mammoth, wouldn't they? Yeah, I mean, most would. I mean, on paper they are the stronger players, but you know, Mammoth, the difference is I think they are a team, whereas, you know, neutralizers, how much do they practice together? I, I don't know how much they do, I'm just speculating that it's not as much as Mammoth do. Well, when you've got 35,000 members in your team, I'm yeah. not sure you're going to have a great team, are you, when you're changing them every, every tournament for the lineup, no matter how good they are, but there is a lower bracket, so they're not out of it yet. We will probably see them later on. And I would imagine they're not going to be eliminated that early. But you never know. It's such a high calibre in this tournament. Congratulations to Mammoth. They move on to the next round. It's got on yep. that pumping music, right? Excellent game from them. And you know, We've said they've looked good in some of these qualifiers. And they're carrying it through to the finals, which is important. No good playing well in the qualifiers if you're not going to bring it for the finals.